Hey friends, welcome to the Taking Your Next Step podcast from Collegians for Christ. Through each episode, we will journey together focusing on becoming better followers of Jesus. If you're eager, like I am, to follow Jesus Christ, then take your next step now by joining us in today's episode. So we look at our last objection here to the fact that God does not change. And we want to look at this idea of why on earth even pray if God doesn't change? Because we would think of prayer as changing God or getting God to change his mind. Well, when we think about this, first of all, why should we pray? Well, we're commanded to pray. Uh, we find that throughout Scripture. I mean, that's just like uh, interwoven from the beginning to the end. I mean, Jesus told his disciples to pray. He said in Matthew 7, 7, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be open. He would go on to tell us about the model prayer. And when ye pray, pray this way assuming that they knew they were already commanded to pray. God commands His children to pray. So why should we pray? Well, we're commanded to pray. Well, if if God doesn't change His mind, then what effectiveness does prayer have? Why should I even waste my time to pray? You see, we pray because He commands that we pray, and we see God working through prayer throughout Scripture and in our own lives. So we see, one, we're commanded to pray. We see, second, we see the evidence of how prayer works. So we see God uses prayer. I'm sure you can think back in your own life to different times when God has answered prayer. Maybe take a moment. When was the last prayer that God answered? For some of us, it's been recent. Some of us, it's been a little bit maybe further out. But God has answered prayers of yours. God has answered prayers of people that love you, people that care for you, even for you. God has answered prayers for yourself, for your family, for those that are around you. And you and I can see evidence of that. So why do we pray? We pray because we're commanded to. We pray because God does work. And we see those evidences all around us in our lives. As we think about the fact, does prayer change God's mind? Well, God is omniscient. What does that mean? It means he already knows everything. It's not that he is uh, anything's going to surprise God. It's not that God is missing out. It's not that something was said behind a closed door and God doesn't know. The Bible teaches us in Psalm 139, you cannot go anywhere to escape the presence of God. And therefore, also knowing that God is everywhere present, he is also all knowing. He knows everything. He knows what we will pray before we will pray it. You see, your prayers, my prayers, will never be a surprise to God. It's not like God says, oh, well, I, 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 didn't, I didn't think about that coming. Oh, wow, I never considered that prayer. I never considered that she would ask for that. I never considered he would be in that situation and would come to me seeking that specific thing. You see, God already knows that. All these attributes link together. God is eternal. He has no beginning. He has no ending. You and I are trapped in time. He created time, but he's outside of time. And he knows all, He knows everything. He knows the beginning from the end. And so when you and I pray, he already knows what we're going to pray. So prayer does not change God's mind. Rather, God being all-knowing uses our prayers in accordance with his purpose. You see, he aligns our prayers to accomplish his will on earth. Now, when we pray, we understand sometimes God answers our prayers. We understand sometimes God delays an answer to our prayer. And we understand sometimes God denies the answer to our prayer. And then sometimes our no may be someone else's yes. We get the no because someone else was praying and they got the yes. What makes the difference? God's will. God's purpose here on earth. You see, what is a condition of prayer? It is the will of God. 1 John 5, 14 tells us that. It's the purpose and will of God. As you and I pray, if we, James warned us, if we're going to consume it upon our own lust, then we will not get what we ask. Why? Because it's outside of God's will. So any prayer that you and I are going to pray doesn't mean it's meaningless. It doesn't mean it's not effective because you and I have evidences all around us of God's power and how he has worked through prayer. So we understand prayer really works. But what we have to understand is, and it's so hard, because we're we're trying to, through these episodes, to have a 
conception of the divine who is so much greater than you and I. You see, when we come to God, if we knew every single thing there was to know about God, God would cease to be God. There always has to be an element of unknown. But you and I want to explain and understand everything, and I get it. I'm the same way. I want to know everything. I want to see it. I want to see the evidence of it. I I want to see how it works. Uh, If you're going to say something, you're going to have to prove it. I need to see it. That's just how I work. And so we want to see and understand everything there is about God, but we cannot. Now, God reveals a lot to us. He said we can know a lot about God because he revealed, but we cannot know everything about God because he is God. And so there comes that element of mystery. There comes that element of unknown about God. And so as we think about the fact that God is all-knowing, that he already knows what you're going to pray, that's hard to, to understand, right? Because you and I can't think past today. I mean, everything in the future from this moment on is unknown. We know now and we know backwards, but God already knows what's going to happen in the future. So prayer is not changing God's mind. Rather, we're bringing, he's using our prayers to accomplish His will on earth. He aligns our prayers to accomplish His will on earth. And so the prayers He does not answer is accomplishing His will on earth. The prayers He does answer is in accordance with His will on earth. The ones He delays, why are they delayed? Many times because it's an... Many times, all the time, it is because of His will, His purpose on earth. And then the ones He denies because it has to be in accordance with his purpose and his will. So prayer is not about us changing God. Think about that. But about God changing us. I mean, when you say, what is the purpose of prayer? Is the purpose of prayer just to get something? Is the purpose of prayer to make God just like he's a puppet on strings and give me this, do this, do that. I need this, I need that. Is that the purpose of prayer? No. The purpose of prayer is to communicate with our Creator. The purpose of prayer is to dialogue with our Creator. The purpose of prayer is to get God's will in heaven done on earth. As we seek God, what is most important? Him. What is, what is most important? His will. Not mine. Remember what Jesus said? Not my will, but thine be done. And so as we try to understand, is prayer changing God's mind? No, God's mind is already made up. He's already purposed his mind, his will on this earth. And as you and I pray, he aligns those prayers with his will. So it's not about us getting what we want, but about us getting what God wants done on earth. And so we talked about there are mysteries about God. That's just the way it is. Why? Because if we knew or could explain everything about God, God would cease to be God. At the same time, there's much that God wants us to know about Him and praise the Lord for that. He's given us an entire book of revelation about Himself. And the very fact that He is God entails things and thoughts beyond ourselves. And so we come to uh, the fact that why do we pray? Because God commands us to pray. Why do we pray? Because you and I have seen the evidences of answered prayer all around us. So let's continue to seek God and allow God to change us through prayer. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If this podcast has been helpful to you, we would love for you to share it with a friend or subscribe so that you can stay up to date on the latest studies. You can connect with Collegians for Christ online for more information and resources at cfccampusministry.com.